Well, hello everyone. Had a little snafu there at the beginning of my video. I hit live and it, on my end, it said it wasn't live, but on your end, it said it was live. I'm like, wow, I'm not even ready. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. Anyway, we're live now. Can y'all see me? <laughs> Total craziness today. <laughs> I um, kind of got flustered there I was having a conversation with someone online and all of a sudden they were mad at me and I don't know what I said to make them mad I guess you just don't know the spirit of things you know because when you're typing anyway not gonna worry about that sort of thing we're just gonna have a great day forget that snafu at the beginning <laughs> well anyway we had us just a major downpour yesterday and it's still wet outside I you know, I grew up here in Oklahoma, but I never, ever remember having so much rain. I realize we're not into summer yet, but we almost are, because summer is like uh, June 21st, I think, and today is the 13th, isn't it? So, yeah, it's really we've had so much rain. I'm not going to complain. My garden is doing great. All right, well, hello, everybody. <laughs> Got my coffee today, and I am drinking Caramel Macchiato Creamer. I found it sugar-free. I know y'all are going to tell me don't drink that sugar-free creamer. It's not good for you, but it's better than having all the sugar for me, okay? So, Caramel Macchiato in my Aldi coffee. I have found that Aldi's coffee is just as good as the Folgers that I love, and it's quite a bit cheaper. All right, so everybody clink in, clinkity, clink, clink. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> I'm going to move this over here, move my coaster, my mug rug over so I don't knock it over. Were you all watching the day I knocked my coffee all over the place? I had it all over my projects and everything. Now it's been a couple years, I think, when I did that, but boy, that was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, where's everybody from today? I see North Florida. I see Nebraska. Let's see. I don't see any other ones unless they've already gone by. I, it's so much fun to see where everybody's coming from. I love it when people are like, I'm from Ireland, or I'm from England, or I'm from Brazil. I like that. But I also love it for everybody from America as well. Don't misunderstand me. It's just super fun to see where you're from. Now, when I ask that question, never put your address, okay? So there's someone from New York and Sacramento, California, Arizona, Kansas, Canada, Kentucky, Wyoming, Colorado, Sweden, there you go, Wyoming. So Chicago land, Chicago land and Michigan. It's super fun <clears throat> to see where you all are from. Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Washington. You guys are, it's going so fast I can't keep up now. <laughs> I love it. Washington, Colorado, Cattle County. <laughs> Let's see, Nebraska, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin. Isn't that awesome? <clears throat> it's really kind of neat to know that all of us have the same thing in common, and that is our love for yarn and crochet. All right, now, <clears throat> my voice is a little dry today. I'm not really sure why, so if I clear my throat or drink a lot of coffee, that's why. <laughs> okay, so I have a box today that I got from Hirschner's. And I ordered this in, and I wanted to tell you, I ordered in, and I always, um, for some projects that I want to do, um, I ordered in three of each. Oh, Mary's from Norman, Oklahoma. Hey, neighbor. <laughs> I didn't get some. Tennessee, West Virginia, Massachusetts, Michigan, Missouri, Southern Illinois. Okay. Okay. Dawn says she's from allergies. <laughs> She's saying it's allergies, and I have had suffered from allergies. Anyway, back to our, our unboxing. I ordered in some yarn from Hirschner's, and I absolutely love the company um, Hirschner's. I've found so many neat things there. 
A lot of times, if you can't find it other places, you can find it at Hirschner's because they get a lot of discontinued yarns from other companies as well as new yarns, okay? So I ordered it in, and I usually try to order three of each of the yarn cakes or yarn balls, uh, skeins. That way I have enough to do a project as well as show you the yarn while I'm doing the project. Well, I opened up the box, and I they shorted me some. And I thought, well, that's never happened before, but they're really good about replacing things. I had some that came in a bag one time, and somehow water got in that shipping bag, and my yarn was just soaking wet. So I just sent him a picture and my receipt, and they replaced that yarn, which is exactly what I did this time. I, I showed him the, a picture of the box. I showed him the receipt, you know, and what I had ordered. And they messaged me the next day and said, what we accidentally left out is on the way. And I got it within the week. And they just went ahead and sent it. And so I want, just want you to know, Hirschner's has really good customer service. And that has been my experience. Okay. Are you ready to do an unboxing? Now, I'm going to tell you, I ordered these. I already know what's in here. It's not a surprise box. But I'm very happy with what I purchased and what came in. Okay. So this is the box. Pretty good sized. All right. Now, the first one I want to show you is this. I ordered three of these. And this is called oh i just knocked one of my cameras over oops <laughs> this one is called sundance sweets i'm gonna put this on my other camera here so that you can see it and this is one of the ones i accidentally shorted me um and so they I, I ordered three they only sent two and they sent the third one okay and this is a medium four cake yarn 100 percent acrylic it has 164 yards three and a half ounces. Look at this color. This color is called car uh, caramel. I would keep saying caramel. Caramel, isn't that pretty? And this is, I wanted these for a project I'm going to do this fall. And I ordered three of those. And then I ordered, let me grab this other, these other three. I don't know why I set them way down on the floor. That was silly. All right, so I've got these other three. Let's move these up. And this is called Sundance Sweets also. And to me, this looks like candy, doesn't it? Well, the name of this one is called Gumdrops. That's exactly what it looks like to me. It's also acrylic. It also has three and a half ounces on it, 164 yards. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And this is for a project also later on. And I ordered three. And they're really pretty. One thing I didn't notice about these are the same yarns, but this one's wrapped a lot tighter than this one. This one's kind of squishing out. But I really, I've never used these before, so it's going to be a new experience to use the Sundance yarn. I will tell you <clears throat> that if you've ever bought the Premier um, Cake yarn, this feels just exactly like that, and some of the colors are quite similar. All right, so those are, those are, uh, six of cakes that I bought. And then I bought some yarn balls. And I really love these, they're so much fun. They're called Scramble. And these are yarn balls. Let me move these out of the way. Um, look at those pretty colors. I thought it looked like crayon box. Okay, these are a medium weight number four, three and a half ounces, 164 yards also. And, oh, it's down inside there, let's see. This is called Rainbow, and I, I think it looks like a crayon box because they're all the primary colors. And so then I bought three more of those, and these are in pastels. And so they're similar, but they're pastel colors, and it's called Little Baby. Aren't those beautiful? One of the things about these um, is uh, they feel thicker than your basic medium weight number fours. Um, you can see, you know, to me, they're just a little bit thicker. And I always say, I have this thing where I always say, it's not a four, but it's not a five. It's like four and a half. <laughs> and I know that is not, a, you know, one of the measurements. But all of these brands, both of these 
this uh, Sundance Scramble and the Sundance Sweets. They do feel thicker. They're fluffier. And it could be that they're just not wound as tight. Okay. But they are all medium weight number four. They're all acrylic. Um, and let's look at them again. Because I just love them. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I got three of the pastels called Little Baby. That is the Sundance Scramble, which I think is a really cool name. I got three of these. They call it Rainbow, but I call it Crayon Box. Be maybe because all that white is in there, and they're just such bright, vivid colors. So pretty. I love those. And then I got these. I guess I really like bright colors, don't I? I got these again. Like I said, these are called Gumdrops. And these are the Sundance Sweets. And like I said, I've never bought this brand before. And so we'll have to see how it goes. Okay, and then this is the, the caramel. And it looks just like caramel. To me, it looks like the top of my coffee cup when I add the creamer and it swirls around. They should have called it coffee creamer. <laughs> I love that. So anyway, that's what's in my Hirschner's box. I, I specifically ordered yarns that I had not used before. And that's because I want to test them out. I want to see how they're going to work. I want to do some test swatches and things like that. I will tell you this. They're soft. They're a little bit thicker than your basic medium weight number fours, which I really like that. It also kind of reminds me of the Burnett Pop. If you've ever used the Burnett Pop um, um, cakes, they're not that tightly wound medium weight fours either. They're a little bit poofy. And I think that's how those are. Reminds me, like I said, of the Premier uh, cake rolls. The ones that are right up there. Uh, let's see. Right there. Sweet rolls. It reminds me of those. Because they're not tightly wound. They're just a little bit looser. Okay, so... That's what's in the Hirschner's box. Again, I want to remind you, when you order from Hirschner's, um, they really almost always will give you free shipping if you order, I think, 45 and above amount. And there's always, if, if, and once you order from them, they send you uh, emails with lots of different sales and shipping in there uh, to get codes for getting free shipping. <clears throat> and I've always really loved ordering from Hirschner's. And I, you can, and like I said, it seems like I can always find things that are different that I've never tried. And I really like that. I like to try new yarns and new textures and things like that. Okay. And so that's what's in the Hirschner's box. And again, wonderful customer service. Super, super customer service. And um, one thing you have to understand about any of the yarn companies Mistakes happen when you order online. They're putting yarn in boxes and, and trying to follow guidelines and all of this stuff. And sometimes, what, you know, it gets left out or bounces out of the box or something. I mean, I don't know. I, I've never actually shipped from a big company, you know, myself. Um, but I do know that accidents happen. And just as an example, uh, many years ago when I was making dog hats and sweaters and shipping them out, I... Um, I, I've sold a ton of dog beanies and um, I had an order for a sock monkey dog beanie for a large extra large dog that was a German Shepherd and then I also had an order for a tiny little um, toy poodle uh, that and you're, you're talking about an extra large size opposed to an extra small size and what I would do is once they were made I would put them with the shipping label and I laid them across the counter and then I would come back in and slide everything together and add the little goodies and everything and put the shipping labels on. Well, somehow in the process, I mixed the shipping labels up. And I sent the extra small size to the lady with the big German Shepherd. And I sent the extra large size to the nice lady with the little tiny toy poodle. So both of them were super nice about it. And I said, don't worry about it. I'll just make you another one and send them out the next day, which I did. Um, actually, I think it was two or three days. <laughs> then I sent them out. And then I got a message from the lady who had the um, German Shepherd. She said, um, thank you for letting me keep the extra small hat. My granddaughter put it on her teddy bear. And now 
and she sent me a picture of the German Shepherd and the little girl with the little dog head on her teddy bear, okay? So then the lady who got the extra small that need or got the extra large that needed the extra small, um, she gave it to her son who had like a, I think it was a, what did she, t not a Mastiff, um, I can't remember, another big dog. And anyway, she took a picture of this dog in this big house, and it was hilarious, and the dog was not happy. But she was happy she got her small one for her toy poodle. So things happen, okay? Even in a small operation like, like mine was. I, don't, I do not sell um, uh, dog hats and sweaters anymore. I, don't, I, I moved away from that, mostly because, um, I hate to say it this way, but measuring a dog's head is very hard. And um, even though yarn is stretchy, sometimes, even though you give people instructions on how to measure a dog's head, sometimes they didn't do it right. And so I ended up doing a lot of um, uh, returns and exchanges and things like that. And I'm, I'm just a one-person operation when it came to that. And so I just sort of went away from doing that. So um, if you ask me, I don't do them anymore. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to explain that because things happen. And so I understand when, um, you know, a big company like Hirschner's or Mary Maxim or Premier Yarns or, or Yarn Inspirations or whatever, when they're sending out things, sometimes things happen and things get lost. And Hirschner's has been really good about um, replacing damaged or things that were lost. I actually had a package stolen off my porch one time uh, from, um, I want to say, Yarn Inspirations. And they refused to um, um, resend it. They didn't trust me. And they were like, well, um, were you home all day? I'm like, yeah. You know, I didn't know it was out there. You know, because that was back before they used, like Amazon sends you an email, Hirschner's, all the other ones. They send you an email that says your package has been delivered. So then you go right out the front porch and it's there. But where we were living at, it was when, I mean, this was a long time ago. It was way back when we lived in Tulsa. So it had to be 15 years ago. Um, and probably it was Red Heart, not Hirschner's, now that I think about it. But I couldn't prove that it was, that it, that it was gone. <clears throat> Either it was not delivered or it was taken off my porch. Anyway, that was a long time ago. I'm just saying Hirschner's, Mary Maxim, a lot of these companies are just really good about replacing damaged and taken things. Okay, let's move along from there. Um, I'm, I'm real excited about this box from Hirschner's because I've got some really neat ideas that I'm going to use those for. All right, let's talk about this thing behind me here. This is the poncho that we did last week for our um, crochet along. We used Hirschner's um, Cotton Sprout Lightweight 3 yarns. And you can use any Lightweight 3 cotton that you want to. Um, but I had a lot of questions and at the end of the last video, um, I do answer some of those questions for you. Um, all the information for sizing yarns and all of those things are in the first video. And then we did a video on Monday and then we didn't do one on Tuesday. And then we did step two on Wednesday, step three on Thursday, and step four in finishing up on Friday. Okay, so it's a crochet along. It's completed. But don't panic. It will always be there. The videos will always be there. The um, pattern is on Ravelry. The pattern is on my blog. It will always be there. And just to answer that question that was just asked, Every pattern that I write is my design, okay? And so I um, will always make a written pattern with pictures that I post underneath every YouTube video where you can find the pattern written out with all the information that you need, okay? And also, every one of my patterns now will have a YouTube video. Now, I have a lot of older patterns on Ravelry, that I have not made videos for yet. And so what we're trying to do is go through all of those uh, patterns and update them and also make new videos for them. A lot of them, the yarns have been discontinued and things like that. And so we are trying to get through a lot of those. But I, I mean, I've written several thousand patterns. And so <clears throat> it's taking a lot of time to, you know, to get through all of those, you know. And so we are trying to get through all of them. Um, I, there's a lot of them. I mentioned one last week that was the um, 
scrap happy uh, it's a scrap happy winter poncho it's a really thick warm poncho and it's just made with our scrap happy yarns or our scrap yarns okay and so <clears throat> When we have a pattern like that, it's a really complicated but yet easy pattern. It's a, and when I say complicated, it's just the way the steps are, not the stitches. And so sometimes it takes a little bit of um, creativity to film those. But I do have a list um, that we're going to that we've been trying to hit. Uh, I've been doing like one or two a month of the updated videos, and so we'll we'll eventually get those in there. Okay. The oh the blanket that's on the back. This is our scrapalicious pattern. It's, it was one of our Scrap Happy patterns a couple years ago. The pattern is on YouTube. It's called Scrapalicious. It has a really cute picture of my dogs in front of it. <laughs> but you can find that on my YouTube video as well as on the blog and on Ravelry. Ravelry. Ravelry, not Ravelry. <laughs> but anyway, it is um, called the Scrapalicious Granny Pattern. It's one of my favorites. It's a um, really easy pattern, and it's held... Uh, with three strands held together and it's it's one of those things where you grab yarns that are solids variegated stripes ombres but make sure they're all the same and you use three strands and you stitch it up and you just don't know how the colors are going to lay and they just lay beautifully it's one of my favorites and it's a really warm blanket um, in Colorado I kept it in my car because a lot of times it's so cold in the winter sometimes that the, there isn't enough time for the car to heat up. And so I would leave it in my car and then grab it and put it on my lap while I was driving for the first couple of miles until my heater would, you know, would be warm enough to heat up the car. Okay, now the other pattern that we did this week, I'm going to go ahead and go to this other camera again. Okay, it won't fit all in there, but this is our cotton beach bag. It has this fun chain to uh, stitching pattern that goes in sort of a, a spiral around. And it's, it's made to be a beach bag. It has holes in it so you can shake out the sand. Um, and it's made with a bulky number five cotton yarn. Now this is the yarn that I purchased, purchased at Hobby Lobby. You can also purchase a similar yarn from Premier and also Lion Brand. And I've also seen it on Hirschner's. Um, that is just, um, an, and they have a lot of different colors. These are just the colors I had on hand. I think this is called buttercream, and this is like a, um, a sage green. And this is, it looks gray here, but it's kind of a light lavender gray. And I really loved how it worked up. And then at the end, we use, it is a drawstring. And I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, you know, I love drawstrings. This is one of my favorite kinds of, of bags is a drawstring because you can close it up easily and carry it with your drawstring. And you can do it lots of different ways. You can put this in the front. You can carry it by going like this also with the handles. And then this is just a real simple way. I show you, this is sliding off the table. Let me whip that up there. And I show you at the end of the video how to add what I call faux tassels because it isn't really a tassel. It's the way we put it through the bottom of the of the chain and then tie it. And then I just added some fun beads. I had eight beads. This is just a funny story. I had eight of these beads. I, they have a nice big hole in them, so they fit the chunky yarn. And I was gonna put four on each end. Somehow, I lost one of the beads. So this one only has three. I checked all over my project table, all over the carpet. And the carpet is like a, a modeled, um, I call it oatmeal. It's got light beige and browns and colors in it. And I thought, well, maybe it got lost in the carpet somewhere. So I vacuumed. I can't find it. That bead took off. I don't know where it's at. <laughs> but it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, but I just really love the way that the that the bag turned out. And I, I like having this knot here and pulling it over through, this, through the uh, top of the bag and having the handle. It's a big, long bag. It measures 14 inches long. And it's about 22 inches around. You can fit your lunch in there, your beach towel, beach toys, or you could use it for shopping for your produce and at the market and things like that. All right, and I just, I just, it's a really fun bag, and <laughs> I'm probably going to keep it for myself, because I just love it, and I love yellow, of course. Yellow is my favorite color. So that's um, what we did yesterday. And again, this is a, a YouTube video 
Under the video is a link that will take you to the blog where the written pattern is with lots of pictures. And you'll also find it on Ravelry. All right, so that's what happened this week. What's coming up? I keep sliding out of my chair. I don't know if I lowered it or what. <laughs> anyway, what's coming up? So we got a couple of things coming up. Don't forget about the June giveaway. And if you want to know about the June giveaway, go look at last week's live video. I show you what the giveaway is, which is one of our black um, pro, uh, zipper pouches. Plus, there's a set of six boy hooks with the rubber handles. Um, there's a skein of yarn. Um, it's, I keep looking over there because that's where I put it, but it's not sitting there. But anyway, it's, I call it a whole set of, begin, of, a, of travel stuff you need. Crochet hooks, scissors, um, stitch markers, all kinds of fun things. <clears throat> but go look at last week's video and I will show you exactly what's in the June giveaway, which next Tuesday, which will be the 20th, I'll announce the winner, and the way that you get involved in that in that giveaway is you have to comment on last week's video. And I always tell people, everybody that comments is entered. And all you have to do is say, hey, I want that giveaway. <laughs> okay? So it's, it's really simple. And then next week, I will announce the winner. Okay? And next week's live video. All right, now we also have a Scrap Happy project coming up that I'm super excited about because the third uh, Monday of each month, I release a Scrap Happy pattern. And I'm really excited about this one. You're going to need a bunch of medium weight, or I'm sorry, you're going to need a bunch of bulky number five yarns. They can be solid, variegated, ombre, whatever you've got, because we're going to make something really fun. <laughs> It's going to be a little bit on the silly side. All right. And then also, um, I'm trying to think of what else. I didn't write anything else down here. I thought I had one more thing. Well, anyway, next week we are going to be talking about um, some more yarns that I got from Premier, Premier not Primer, yarns, um, something new. that There have been some other bloggers talking about it and some other YouTubers and uh, about some of the new yarns from Premier. So we're going to talk about some of those next week. And also, I, I do I do want to comment before I let you go. I have become a Premier Yarn affiliate. So you're going to find the link to the Premier Yarn um, on my blogs, on my um, YouTube, wherever. And all I'm asking is that when you do buy from Premier, if you use my um, link, then I get an, a 10% of the sale after taxes. Okay? Um, so... It's not anything major. I'm looking at it as I'm going to make enough money to be able to buy more yarn. <laughs> you know. So anyway, so I, and I, I already have a bunch of YouTube videos that I used Premier Yarns because I already love Premier Yarns. You know. So anyway, um, that's 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 if you've seen that around, that's what that's all about. Okay. So. Let me see. I think I've gotten everything covered. Our time is just about up. And I just want to thank you all for being a part of my YouTube channel and all of that. It's a lot of fun. And um, getting back to the thing I was talking about at the beginning of the video, sometimes when we're typing up comments, we don't realize the way they sound. you know. And, and if I ever come across in your opinion, as curt or unkind, that is not my intention. Um, I just like having conversations. I like to talk. And um, so if that comes across that way, that's not my intention at all. I love to learn from people. I love to, that's why I do the this or that. And that was the other thing I was going to talk about. I love to do those this or that videos. I hope you'll watch those because we can learn a lot from each other. Um, the this or that videos are where I ask you a question. You can give your opinion on the subject and also tell us what you do. And then we can read those comments and learn from each other. That was the other thing I was going to tell you. I have one coming out tomorrow as soon as I get everything finished being edited and all. And it really has to do with scrap yarn. And so um, I hope that you'll, um, you know, watch that. Well, Irene, thank you for saying I'm never unkind because I never ever want to come across as unkind or judgmental 
or any of that. You know, I've always said my goal is that I want every single person in the whole wide world to crochet. I really do. And I've said over and over, if I could teach my dogs to crochet instead of sleeping like they are right now, <laughs> they're on their fourth morning nap. <laughs> I, I just think everyone should crochet because there's so much healing in it and it gets you away, you know, like, and that's another thing about these videos that I do every Tuesday. It gets us away from the cares of this world. For just 30 minutes, we can set the things that are burdening our hearts down. You know, we all, we all have sicknesses or people that we love that are sick or, or financial problems or other things that just weigh us down. Life is hard sometimes, you know? It is. I was telling somebody the other day, you know, um, they were telling me a lot of things. And I said, you know, I'm so sorry you're going through that. Life really is hard sometimes. And I gave her a hug and all she needed was just a hug. You know, so here's a great big giant hug from me. <laughs> Life is hard sometimes. And so it's kind of nice to get away from all of that, all the pressures from work and everything else. Set those things aside and just watch a silly and fun video. So I hope that you have enjoyed it today. I love you guys. You're my crochet fam. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll see you next week. Have a fantastic week.